Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy to I be here. I am so excited to have um, Jennifer Esposito, actress, health advocate, and the author of Jennifer's Way and Jennifer's Way Bakery in my studio, um, sitting down to share her unbelievable story of health recovery with me and the Wellbe audience. So thank you so much for being here. You're so welcome. I would start to get recurring sinus infections constantly. Um, everything here gets swollen and around the eyes, as you probably know, is allergy. As soon as you see redness and swelling around the eyes, you can pretty much look inside and say, there's an allergy going on somewhere. So constant, constant would attack here. I was taken to so many different doctors. This one doctor finally said, okay, I got it. The bridge of your nose is too small. So what we're going to do, we're going to drill holes through your eyebrows. We're going to really, I mean... If I would have done everything, are you I'm so kidding serious. Like me? Frankenstein, first shock treatment, and then they want to drill holes through my head. Like if I would have listened, God only knows where I would be. Um, but so they wanted to drill holes through the eyebrows, release the pressure because it wasn't draining, blah, blah, blah. Never thinking, well, why is there so much toxicity wanting to escape? Like, why? why is there so much mucus is the way why? for the body to get rid of get something rid it doesn't want. So yeah. why? Like with the stomach, no one, oh, you have irritable bowel. But that just means my bowel is irritated. Why is it irritated? Right. They look at you like, huh? Like, like that's, that's really not, not right my question. problem. Exactly. Yeah. That's your issue. No, no, that's your issue. So I started to realize that this was my issue. But still, I was very much thinking they're the doctor, so I'm going to listen. But I definitely questioned. So I had the recurrent sinus infections. It got to a point where they were so bad that I was constantly on um, steroids, which throw you off, as you know, horribly, and uh, then antibiotic. So I was a complete disaster. And they, by the way, would give me antibiotic for everything. Antibiotic, antibiotic, antibiotic. Who knew? Back, I just listened. I never ever liked taking anything and I'm very affected by medication. So I would like take it and then stop and like, I would get scared. So it became, I was, I was doing a show in Los Angeles and then I started to have my face, is, my, my skin started to peel on my face. Um, fingernails started to chip really bad. Hair started to fall out in clumps and the exhaustion I was always exhausted, but the exhaustion was at an all-time insane high. Like, we can be chatting, and I'd be, like, <laughs> asleep. And I had to work. I missed maybe one or two weeks of work in my entire life because of being ill, because I would never wanted it to stop me. And literally one day, in the middle of a take, a tooth popped out of my mouth. Like Your real tooth. My real tooth popped out of my mouth, and I was like, did my, did my tooth just fall out? And they're like, um, yes. 